Sudo Reiko Making Nuno Textiles celebrates the work of Japanese textile designer, artist, and innovator Sudo Reiko. Nuno is Japanese for cloth and the name of Sudo's three decade creative venture. In her most comprehensive exhibition to date, Sudo's Nuno are presented not just as completed works, but also in their various stages of making, from sketches and tools to raw materials and experimental prototypes. Through tactile experiences and immersive installations, Sudo's design visions are made transparent and accessible, revealing an experimental and uncompromising spirit echoed by the core values and historical context of chat. Colorful Koinobori carp streamers greet visitors of the exhibition. Titled Koi Currents, this installation arrives at chat after numerous iterations around the world since 2008 when it was first conceived and continues to be revitalized by installation designer Adrian Gardere. Sudo's 90 exceptional textile designs are arranged into a whirling school of modern-day koinobori, which are traditionally flown in Japanese gardens to symbolize strength, endurance, and to herald the prowess of newborns. Koi currents is enjoyed from all angles and at all times, flickering in sunlight during the day and reflecting depths of textures in the evening. Following their gestures up to the arcade in the second floor of chat, visitors are met with the warmth of sunlight filtered through a curtain of punch cards. Punch cards are an important piece of machinery used by Sudo to transmit her designs into jacquard weaving looms, which decipher these binary instructions to weave complex fabrics. These paper punch cards were hand-punched by artisans and then salvaged and repurposed by Sudo for the exhibition. Seen from afar and all together, the punch cards reveal the striped patterns of the overhanging jacquard textile, color plate. Process materials are presented along the table running down the corridor, with eight vitrines recounting the conception of eight exceptional textile designs, each reflecting one of Sudo's design convictions. Color plate demonstrates Sudo's reinterpretation of traditional kimono pinstripes into contemporary designs. The weaving shuttles, yarn tensioners, and wool yarns are materials and equipment used and shared by the jacquard weavers and warping specialists she collaborates with. Wool fibers can be manipulated to realize drastically different forms. Sudo takes advantage of industrial needle punching machines subverting their traditional functions to enmesh wool fibers to form the delightful lattices of thread stray. Jellyfish celebrates the heat-sensitive, shrinking, and moldable qualities of synthetic fibers. After much trial and error with small fabric experiments stitched and baked in domestic ovens, Sudo creatively adapted the design for large-scale production with the help of innovative silkscreen printers. Kibiso fibers from the outermost shells of silk cocoons are typically discarded for their coarseness. With support from experts in the Japanese government, Sudo developed a spinning technology to repurpose kibiso, demonstrating an uncompromising spirit to salvage industrial byproducts. For origami weave, Sudo translates the folding art of origami into the mountains and valleys of pleated cloths. She ingeniously weaves cloths with innovative shrinking yarns that pleats into folded surfaces when placed in warm water. The white travertines of Pamukkale, Turkey inspired Turkish wall, a monochromatic but deeply textural merger of white pigment and velvety flocked fibers against a sheer polyester background. What is but an everyday, mundane image for most leaves long-lasting impressions for Sudo. The ends of fabric and paper rolls, when seen from the side, becomes the swirling loops of paper roll, made by stitching red nylon ribbons onto a calcium-based water-soluble cloth, which is then dissolved to achieve this luxurious lace. Amate is made by adhering washi paper onto a velvet background to mimic the gridded patterns of Mexican bark cloth. 
an unlikely but harmonious combination of materials, textile traditions, and cultures. Touching enriches our lives, Pseudo believes. The more we touch and perceive textiles, the more acute our senses, and the more interesting our lives already abound with textiles become. Written behind each of these 100 touch panels are information of their production and technical properties, as well as snippets of their conception, all in the earnest words of Pseudo. As we enter Gallery 1 from the arcade, Color Plate unravels itself into thousands of warp threads ready to be woven. Conceived by Saito Seichi, director of Rhizomatics Architecture, Gallery 1 is an immersive stage on which eight highlighted works from the arcade perform their narratives of production. Abstracted, minimal, but no less comprehensible, each installation is a slice of a factory space translated from Japan to chat. The threads of color plate are spectacularly unwound onto a warper creel, an industrial tool used to prepare warp threads for weaving. The textile and its installation pay homage to the kimono obi sash weaving traditions of Kiryu, Japan. With weavers' support, traditional jacquard looms were adapted to weave left and right twisted, as well as overspun wool yarns to realize the crepe-like qualities experienced in pliable, polychromatic color plate. Working with a needle-punching factory in Fujiyoshita, Japan, the wool threads of thread stray are first manually arranged to interlace in warp and weft, and then punched by thousands of barbed needles to create a textile that is neither woven nor knitted. Interestingly, the innovative and intentional use of jagged needles arose by chance. Once, when Sudo was mending some cloths with her sewing machine, a needle broke and began to tear and gouge holes in her organdy cloth. What otherwise would have been a horrible accident yielded wonderful textures, as the array of threads intertwined beautifully under the light. When Sudo encountered an industrial heat-shrinking fabric made of polyvinyl chloride fibers, she immediately thought of combining it with a heat-setting polyester fabric. The two fabrics are fastened together by a water-soluble adhesive, then baked in an industrial oven, whereupon the polychloride vinyl fabric shrinks, while the polyester fabric becomes heat-set and manipulated into puckering forms. The adhesive is then washed away to separate the fabrics, yielding a jellyfish that squirms with buoyant life. The fabrics of jellyfish are lovingly and masterfully adhered together by Mr. Nakanishi in Shiga, Japan. In 2007, a visit to Yamagata, Japan led Sudo to realize that coarse kibiso scraps are often discarded without consideration. In 2008, Sudo launched a collaborative project with local textile professionals to find creative uses for kibiso. The effort was made successful when an additional grant was received from the Ministry of Economy, Trade, and Industry. Through collaboration with various parties, a spinning method was developed to spin kibiso into threads fine enough to be woven on industrial looms. When spun, woven, and finished with care, the fiber can yield the rippling textures of kibiso crisscross, a design that fully embodies Sudo's no-waste, use-everything spirit. Taking inspiration from the traditional Japanese craft of origami and pintuck weaving, origami weave is a jacquard cloth woven with heat-sensitive threads, which shrinks to form crisp mountains and valleys when soaked in heated water. The technical feat is achieved through years of persistence. Prior to the development of the self-pleading origami weave, Sudo and her team has, for over two decades, made pleats manually by inserting fabrics between paper molds, 
which are heat pressed for creases to set. Through silkscreen printing, her collaborators adhere rayon flocking onto a sheer background, which then enters a custom-made wooden box, charged with electricity through its antenna. As rayon flocking is charged with electrostatic, fibers erect vertically, creating an exceptionally rich and velvety surface. On the backside of the cloth, white pigment is printed to make for the intensely white but deeply textural design, Turkish wall. The experience was inspired by Sudo's memory of witnessing the white travertines of Pamukkale, Turkey. Sudo was unable to forget this overwhelming image she perceived in her travels in 1980 and brought it back with her to Tokyo to reinterpret into a textile design. Using a large steering wheel embroidery machine, delicate swirls of red nylon ribbon are first stitched onto a sheet of calcium-based water-soluble stabilizer, then soaked to dissolve into a lace-like screen. The process references a technique known as chemical lace, reputedly invented in Germany in 1883. Shimmering in the light while casting spectacular shadows, the swirls of paper roll mimics the ends of rolled-up fabrics and papers. The history of Japanese washi paper traces back to the Nara period in early 8th century and continues to be used for traditional sliding doors and window screens today. Innovating new possibilities for the medium, Sudo carefully affixes washi sheets onto lustrous velvet backgrounds in a grid-like configuration inspired by a mate bark cloth, which is produced by the indigenous Otomi artisans in central Mexico. The combination of washi and velvet yields textures surprisingly similar to that of leather, and in bringing together washi and bark cloth forges unexpected dialogue between disparate cultures and textile traditions. As the projections and lighting of each machine is amplified one at a time, Visitors are guided through the space, rhythmically and in cycles. Saito Seichi also chooses to honor the sounds of textile making. Sudo carefully composed her personal kimono fabric swatch arrangement to reflect the five ancient colors used for dyeing blue-green, red, and yellow from plants, black from earth, and white from water and ash. Looking up, these colors are seen echoed by the spectacular koi currents of the hall. By tracing their histories and by learning of their origins, weavers and dyers, the swatches continue to inspire material, technical, color, and pattern choices for her new designs. In Gallery 2, Videos directed by Saito Seichi documents the production processes of Sudo's textiles in the Japanese prefectures of Shiga, Gumma, Yamanashi, and Yamagata. The series celebrates family-run businesses and the Japanese landscapes they are situated in, and continues to be influenced by. Churning loudly and proudly, the machines in the videos are old but adapted to, and constantly repaired with love. And as Saito considers, perfect as they are. Returning to the arcade, the stark intensity of white calls for a return to consider the inherent textures and materiality of cloth. あの、何かのために作るテキスタルではなくて、テキスタルが何かを作りたい、あるいはテキスタルが何かにまあしたいなって思わせるような、そういうものがテキスタルだと思うんです。